Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be a team game featuring some names you might know. Found a yellow replay pack from the player yellow, in case you're confused, on a Russian website somewhere. And uh, yeah, so it had a team folder. So I was like, ooh, team games from yellow. So I pulled this one up, and it features Nada, Boxer, and Yellow, all in the same team game here on Hunter. So I was like, gotta cast this. Everything else, this is what I'm doing right now. All right, so team one here. Let's see, two players lifted off. So I think this is gonna be a 3v3. Let's see here, Brown lifted off and Teal lifted off. Yeah, one from each, each team here. So 3v3. Up north, we have team one. It is Nada. The purple Terran player. His teammate next door, we got a blue Protoss. It is Eve. I don't know who this is. I looked, but couldn't find anything about him. And then their teammate, the most famous probably here, is going to be Boxer. Looking great in that yellow on the right side. Team two, represented by the elite Protoss player, Yellow. His teammate, Protoss. And uh, this guy over here, <laughs> yeah, one. From of, I think that's a clan tag anyway. So this is from 2006. Now, you might be saying, Falcon, but what if it breaks? I looked at it. I watched it to make sure it doesn't break. This goes all the way to the end of the game. It's totally good. It Usually these replays don't break until about the 20 minute mark, sometimes a little bit earlier, depending on what's going on. So team games don't usually go into like the 30 minutes. So I figure we'll do some team games with yellow. If I can't find any super long macro 1v1s to do, Let's do some team stuff. Let's go ahead. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, I don't have team colors. Oh no! Is this so old team colors don't exist in the replay interface? Uh. All right, guys, we're gonna do our best. It's either everyone's yellow or we have everybody their own color. Uh, which is gonna be, I mean, I think it'll be fine, right? We get Nada in purple, we got Boxer in yellow, and we have orange for yellow, which Okay, that's not confusing at all. But you know what I'm talking about here. Hit that like button if you are excited for this. Hit that subscribe if you're interested in so much Brood War content. Five to six times a week, new Brood War content. Coming at you from Falcon Paladin because I love you. Okay, now we've seen team games on the channel recently. We have seen some stuff featuring Haya. This is a bit higher level than the Haya ones just because three professionals are involved in this game. Maybe more. I don't recognize any of these Smurfs. I couldn't find anything about any of them on Liquipedia. But Lings are out here from Protoss, who is a Zerg player, because that's not confusing at all, dude. He's coming up, and he's going to try to take down Nada. That's what this is. He's got an early pool running. He's heading up to try to murder Nada early, because, again, Nada is extremely dangerous if you let him get going. I love this SimCity here, the walling off with the barracks. we got a bunker coming up in the mix here, too. The Lings are going to be annoying, but he can afford to take some hits on that supply depot. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a Zealot here. Oh, de wait. Yeah, that's an offensive Zealot because that's not his friend. What are, wait, what? Are these teams not right or is Eve team killing? Oh no. Oh no. What if this is so old that the top versus bottom doesn't apply? What if we can't count on the order of this to figure out who the teams are? I I didn't watch it closely enough to... Okay, so definitely Eve and Nada are not on a team. Who else is trying to kill other people? Yellow's trying to kill Protoss. So, oh my gosh. Uh, all right. So it looks like Yellow and Nada are on the same team. Oh, hold on. Are you... I don't know why you'd be down here with your Zealots otherwise, to be honest. This has to be aggressive out of Yellow. Crap. All right. So Yellow and Nada are on the same team. Because they both are aggressive versus Protoss here. Do we assume that Boxer's on the same team with Yellow and Nada and this is just going to be a stomp? Maybe we could. I don't know. So White is with Red. So One and Protoss are on the same team. Alright, alright. So White, Protoss, and Eve are on the same team. So that means it is not a Boxer in Yellow. Okay, we got there. It didn't take too long. I think we figured it out through deductive reasoning. Dragoons are present for one. They're going to take down these barracks if they are allowed to do so. This is kind of sketchy, actually, for Nada. 
These Dragoons are going to cause some major, major problems right now. Bit of an engagement in the middle, but the Lings don't want to engage with anything. Yeah, see, this is one attacking Yellow's Zealots. Beautiful stuff. And a bunch of Zealots coming out for Eve as well. They are friends with one, so there's no attacking here either. Okay, we got it. We got it. Our heroes are on the same team. That's easy enough to remember here. So it's Yellow, and it's Purple, and it's Orange that are all on the same team. What an insane setup this is. All right, man. Fire bats. Uh, oh, this is, wait, this is Boxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is Boxer attacking Eve, being really annoying here. And going to take out some Zerglings from Protoss, too. All right, all right. All right, we got this. We got this. It's yellow, purple, and orange <laughs> that are on the same team here. Ah, yellow's outnumbered a bit here, but we got reinforcements. Coming in from the right side from Boxer. Got some Zealots joining from Eve, too. This is going to be a bloodbath here in the middle of the map for somebody. Uh, actually, kind of pulling back a little bit. And now Nada's coming down from the top, too. He has been delayed on his tech, but his first two medics are popping out right now. Nice little line set up here. The Zealots getting on top of the Marines. The Ling's coming around the backside. Boxer going to lose all of his bio, but then Nada comes in to clean up what is left. However, is there enough? I don't know. Zerglings. Jumping on top of Nada's Marines. He's trying to kite back. He's trying to use his medics. But the actually wraparound here is pretty good. Out of Protoss. What a fantastic play right now. Out of team not the professionals. They might be professionals. But the team unknown. Whoever these guys are. Wow. Look at this. Nada's going to lose all of his medics as well. He's kind of pulled all the way back into his base. There's not really much here from Boxer either. Yellow's down here in a defensive position, and they're pushing on Nada right now. Holy cannoli. Zealot support. Dragoon's in the mix. That bunker is all that is keeping him alive right now. Is there a... Oh, that's just an Overlord. Okay, I was like, is that a drop or something? Uh, they're on the same team. I think he's just providing detection for his teammate there. That barracks is getting repaired. And it will survive. A Dragoon goes down. No, they're trying to focus down that barracks or those that, that SCV building the barracks. And center now held by Boxer and Yellow working together. They're going to make a concerted and team push down here to take down Protoss, who doesn't have a second base yet. Zerg is so disadvantaged on Hunters because they really need two bases to compete. And it's hard to hold the second base on Hunters because you're going to get rushed. Like this. Like, two people are going to try to come to kill you right now. Reinforcements are coming in from the teammates. One and E. They're coming in to help. Is it enough to hold? The Sunken's doing some work. The Lings are kind of stuck in the back here. That's not great from Protoss. You need them up there attacking the Marines, attacking the Zealots, so the Sunken can actually get some hits off. And it does. Reinforcements... In form of the Dragoons come down from one, but a lot of drones died there from Protoss. He's down to four drones. He didn't lose any of his hatcheries there or his spawning pool, but he lost his economy. And that might be the beginning of the end here for Protoss. I don't know how he comes back from this. That was absolutely brutal. Another army is here from Boxer. Another army is here from Yellow. Nada, ready to go too. They're all kind of biding their time. The center is still being held by Team Unknown right now. Boxer snipes down an observer. Nicely detected there and scanned and picked off. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Nada pushing down against a handful of Dragoons. The Dragoons want nothing to do with that. But reinforcing Dragoons coming from the south maybe do from one. This is a lot of Dragoons, but the Marines have stim now. They hit harder, but maybe not hard enough. Nada getting surrounded by two separate players. Losing that. Trying to get supported by Yellow and Boxer. Can they make it there in time? And the answer is not at all. So <laughs> all of Nada's stuff is dead. And Boxer trying to make it happen down here from the south right now. Zealots attacking on top of the Dragoons. Very nicely here from Yellow. Is he teching into anything else? He is making Dragoons on his own now. We've only seen Zealots for now, but he is going to get there eventually. Boxer's Marines trying to focus down the wounded Dragoons, but... You know what? The healing on the medics is pretty good. Nautica has another army ready to go. He's coming in to reinforce at the same time. Zealots hopping up on top of the Dragoons. And the center is now being held by Team Guys You Know. We need a better name than that. Team Boxer, not a yellow, I suppose. I don't, I don't know, man. Singularity charge on the way here from yellow. 
just a lot of barracks, honestly, out of Boxer. What else do we expect here? And same story. It's pretty much the same strategy for team games on Hunters. If you're Terran, it's just going to be Marine, Medic, and Fire Bats, depending on how many Lings and how many Zealots you have to deal with. And then maybe into tanks eventually. DT is in production from Eve. When behind, make those Dark Templar. It's a good strategy here. Some Zealots not really working out there for Yellow. Boxer kind of pushing Eve back up into his own home. Oh, he's getting cut off by Nada. Nada with the surround. Nada Boxer double team here. And all of these Dragoons are going to die when they didn't have to. If there was somewhere for them to go, they would have escaped. That's nice. That is what we needed to see here if these guys are going to win this game for sure. Ling's holding the middle. Zerg player kind of rebuilding his economy. He's up to 13 drones now. He's got Zerglings to deal with the Dragoons. I kind of like this, actually. Since the Protoss, at least Yellow, seems to be going into dra Dragoon play, the Lings are going to be better, but the Marines are going to take them apart. Especially with that Stim. Looks like a uh, plus one is done for one right now. DT's trying to avoid the scans, but the scans are too much. DT's getting picked off. There for Eve. I don't think he accomplished much with those at all. Taking an expansion in the top left is Nada. It, there's a lot more room to work if it's a 3v3 on this map versus a 4v4. So people like Nada can expand in the top left. Boxer looks like he's going to make a concerted push up there towards Eve. He's like, all right, if all you have, you don't have Storm yet. This is going to be a hard hold, man. These are Marines with Stim and a ton of medics. Yeah, the Zealots don't want anything to do with it. They don't have speed. If they had speed, it'd be a different story for sure. But look at this. Ton of Lings jumping down on top of Yellow. That cannon is in a ton of trouble. It's surrounded, and it's down. These Dragoons aren't going to hold up very well either. But that said, Boxer sniping down, and he does deny Storm off of Eve's little base there. That's not going to happen. Some Zealots popping out just in time to try to save the day. Yellow does lose a bunch of stuff, but his army comes back to make sure he doesn't lose too much. I don't think he lost any buildings other than that cannon, and that is definitely the case. Meanwhile, Boxer just happily murdering Eve to pieces here. I mean, Eve does have about 200 APM. So he's alright. Not like a total scrub, obviously, but this is just... He's losing gateways. Uh, he's going to try to get saved here by one. Some Dragoons coming up. Yeah, you attack at the same time. You bring the probes in, you bring the Zealots in. And the Dragoons. No, go help. You can't let those probes die by themselves. What are you doing? Get in there and assist. And Boxer trying to hold, but his Marines are falling pretty quickly. But reinforcing Boxer, Marines are here. Nada is joining the party. That is really bad news for Eve up here. Zerglings trying to jump on top of Nada's Marines. They don't have any medic support. And as a result, they're all getting wrecked by Protoss' Zerglings there. He's making stuff happen for Team Unknown. Zerglings jumping on top of those Marines, especially, again, if there aren't any medics. Gonna do all right. It looks like... Oh, boy. It does look like Eve is gonna survive this, potentially. Oh, no. But look at this. We've got all three players here. All three colors from Team Names you know, pushing in. One has some Dragoons in here to defend. He's got some reinforcing Zealots and stuff coming up on this side as well. But it is looking really tough. The only good news is the economy is pretty much unharmed for Eve. He's replacing his archives. He's trying to get up to Storm because that's what you're going to need versus all of these Marines. But I don't know if there's enough here. It'll, yeah, Boxer's just taking the northern section of this base. For his own, it looks like Eve is completely dead. He is just getting overrun by a combination of Nada, Boxer, Yellow here. There's no shame in that, but it still hurts nevertheless. Dragoon's trying to push up here on Nada. Not really going to happen for him. Boxer pretty happy to be on one base. I haven't seen him attempt to expand at all. This natural base, or the second base here by Nada is pretty effective. Yeah, the economy for Eve is done right now. Eve has... He's got 20 probes. They're all down here. But these Marines are going to be really, really hard to dislodge. Zerglings taking out yellow zealots that are defending this natural base he managed to take here. These are 0-0 zero, zero lings versus plus one zealots. Not a fight you guys want to take, especially against three of them. So he does save his natural by producing some additional Protoss zealots there. Storm is coming in for Eve, but I mean... Can he get his probes to work? These Marines have been little gods of death today, but they are eventually going to get focused down by these Dragoons. The medic healing is insane. But plus one Dragoons and Zealots should be enough. Reinforcements coming in from Boxer, though. You thought you were safe. 
That was a lie. Cannon getting focused down. Zealots and Dragoons actually wiping out Boxer's forces pretty effectively. Zerg's coming in. <laughs> Yellow's base trying to knock down his natural. The probes are fighting. The Zealots are fighting. If the Zerglings don't have any upgrades, they're a lot easier to pick off with probes. Especially if there are Zealots supporting them there. This has been non-stop insanity. This is probably getting an epic tag just for how nuts it has been. So Eve is actually alive. Eve is alive. Eve has managed to research Storm. Holy crap, he did it. Alright, more Zerglings. Again, I don't know what you're going to be able to tech up to if you are Protoss today. Other than Zerglings. Oh, that's so confusing. But suddenly, big Marine Tank army shows up from Nana. And um, Marine Tank is a much different animal than just Marine. If you're trying to deal with the Terran player, isn't it? I think everybody knows that. Protoss is trying to expand up here. Uh, it looks like one has expanded to the bottom left. But the center's kind of just being held by these tanks and marines, though. That's a lot of tanks. Plus, they have zealot support. Plus, there are medics healing the zealots, which is just entirely unfair. Medics healing biological units that aren't marines and firebats is super good. Tanks sieging up. Dragoons kind of have to get out of here at this point. And they don't, and they die. That is a lesson that you will learn over and over again if you don't learn it once. Yeah, it looks like everybody on Team Names, you know, is on two bases. One is trying to handle these tanks, but there just are not enough of them, and they're already super injured. These tanks have just been sitting here, sieged up for some time, and they are racking up the kills on these Dragoons. Goodbye. White not maybe sit sitting those nearly well enough. A Marine coming up from Boxer trying to see what's going on. And yeah, I mean, Eve again, 27 probes. He's doing okay. Looks like Boxer's at 41, Yellow's at 36, and Nod is at 35. So they are more healthy economy or more healthy economically than most of the players in the game here today. Protoss is at 11 drones. He really hasn't fe felt safe in droning up today, and I can't necessarily blame him for it. He is floating about a bunch of resources, though. So he's probably busy microing his Urglings down here is not great and that's it protoss knew he was done the zealots are coming in to murder him he taps out and holding the middle here is nada with his marines with his tanks it is and that is your good game the other team leaves the game there and yeah i mean you might be like yeah but nobody actually died correct but look not at 100 supply boxers 84 and yellows at 74 the other team is 37 Four, wait, uh, 37, 51, and we're, and again, he had like some drones down here. They were not coming back. Once these guys got rolling, there was just no chance to do it. The center was being held by them. They had that base. They had this base they could take if they wanted to, this base if they wanted to, and we're taking a natural base from Boxer right now, which is just unfair. Yellow was able to hold his natural for some time. He's got High Templar popping out. The Zerg player wasn't going to help at all. Uh, Eve was just not going to be able to do anything either. He had a handful of Zealots, so that was it, man. It was intense. It was intense, but suddenly, Team Nada, Boxer, Yellow was were all on two bases, all killing it economically, all killing it with their army supply, and they are your winners here in 17 and a half minutes. Woo! That was a thing. That was a match for sure. Man, that might that might actually get an epic tag. I'm feeling like I want to give it one. The problem, though, right? The problem is that if you come into this, you're like, well, it's Boxer Yellow and Nada versus three unknown players. Obviously, the heroes are going to win this. So, uh, sure, the outcome was almost predetermined. And giving an epic tag like implies that maybe these guys lost, right? But it was so good. Such non-stop action. Such incredible teamwork there. Again, even from Team Unknown, they prevented Protoss from dying. They assisted each other on attacks. They were doing all the right things here. It's just that Yellow and Boxer and Nada just able to defend a little bit better, work together a little bit better. Not as able to sneak some tanks out here while Boxer is rolling with the bio. Making sure that Storm doesn't happen for Eve was a huge deal for sure. And then White on the other side of it. I don't know if he was even... He was not teching up as well as I think he needed to. He wasn't even going for Storm, it seems like. He was going for Observers. So he had Zealots, Dragoons, and Observers here with some cannon support. He did get a Citadel of Dune, but 
No Templar Archives for him at all. And then the Zerg player again. Once that attack, it didn't kill him, but it slowed him down so much. It very well may have. The Zerglings did some good stuff after that point, but it was hard to come back. But that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that. So end of the day here. Slayer's Boxer, 66,000 points. Not a 63,000 points. And yellow, 45,000 points. One actually 73,000. So one had a good day. Yeah, I feel like these are not like... I feel like these are pro-Korean players, right? But maybe not ones that we know of. Maybe they were big back in 2006. And they're playing under Smurf names. And so they're unknown, but... Anyway, uh, Boxer made 249 units, which is just insane. It really is. He ends up losing 167 of them, but that's a big army remaining for sure. Uh, Protoss made 220 units, which is nice for a Zerg player, but it does count Zerglings as two, so I'm not sure that's entirely fair metric. And then on a 188, lost 102. Just pretty good, good team effort there at the end of the day. Resources, again, two bases for Nada and for one. And for yellow, surprisingly little gas mine. I guess he was going mostly for zealots in that game. He was. He eventually went for high Templar, but he didn't really have much use for them, so he didn't have them very early on. Uh, but Protoss just had a rough time. Mined exactly 100 gas for speed for his Zerglings, and that was all he ever got to do. <laughs> that is a rough day here for Protoss with his 200 APM. So good stuff. That was tons, tons of fun. I might need to cast some more of these. Let me know if you want to see more. So... Boo, that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. <laughs>